We've all been known to eat a box or five of Girl Scout cookies. I love Thin Mints. Me too. They're still an all time favorite, oh right? All love, this, love, this love, new love, fancy love. stuff. But the question is, what do you wash it down with? Now, if my troop leader was right, Girl Scout cookies naturally go with beer. <laughs> we love Girl Scout cookies! It's Girl Scout cookie season, and since cookies are for kids of all ages, why not wash them down with adult beverages? We know about cookies and milk. As an adult, let's have some fun, let's have some cookies and beer. And we get people all the time who are surprised that you could pair beer with, with anything whatsoever. This Saturday, Gulfstream Brewing in Fort Lauderdale and SFL Hops are hosting an event that matches four types of Girl Scout cookies with four types of brews. Luckily at Gulfstream Brewery, they've got a huge variety of different types of beers and flavor profiles. We're gonna get started tonight with a Thin Mint and Opposition Porter pairing. You can sip first or even dunk them. The mint won't be too overpowering because this beer is very robust. It's gonna have chocolate notes as well, as well as roasted notes, and that's gonna bring a fine balance to the pairing. The trefoils are shortbread cookies. You wash them down with an ale with notes of cinnamon and vanilla. And the dosi dos are peanut butter sandwich cookies that get paired with a lager with hints of caramel. And if you want s'more. The flavors from the s'more cookie are gonna pair perfectly with our Imperial Doomsday Stout. It's a Willet Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stout with hints of chocolate, lots of booze on there from the bourbon. The event is only possible because of Girl Scout cookies, so it's only fair that kids get in on the fun too. We're also doing for the kids a milk and cookie pairing. Underagers will get the same types of cookies, but swap out the beer for regular chocolate and strawberry milks and even some eggnog. And we have a, a Girl Scout troop that's that's on hand, so anyone's able to purchase cookies. The event costs 15 bucks for adults, 10 for kids, which is a lot less than getting a sitter for the whole day. I think this is an amazing combination of trying to combine the Girl Scout cookies and the beer. It's a different aspect, a different tone to, to what you drink and what you eat. I was a campfire girl, but quit when we had to camp outside. <laughs> girl, I don't like I don't being outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a Girl Scout. I yeah. mean, not that anybody cares. Yeah, well, I, I care. couldn't change yeah. my outfit, so I had to quit. <laughs>